Oh, Rossima, you are so bellissima. So beautiful, the colors. And these only come out when it's cold. For the past two weeks, we had nothing but minus five, minus five, minus five. <laughs> and then we had a break, went to minus three, and then minus three, minus four. Oh, we had a zero in between. And then we had minus three, minus three, minus three, minus four. Also, during the day, it's been freezing cold. So I think it only got up to 12 degrees. And cloudy and rainy. That was actually the other day. We had rain, so I thought there's not going to be any frost, so which is good. But when the rain stopped, we did get some frost. And look what happened to my beautiful Echeveria here. That got hit by the frost. So this is Ginia Tenu. And look, it's leggy. Oops. And <laughs> frost beaten. So it all rotted. Look at that. Ah, uh, and another rot digger. In this video, I would like to talk to you about the different leggy echeveria because this one, look how leggy that is, isn't it? There are many different types of succulents. These ones are mostly Ioniums. That one there is Graptoveria. Mrs. Richards is already a hybrid. And this one is a variegated emerald green. I forgot the name, so I have to have a peep on the label. So this one, you can see that... Okay, I'm going to put it in the sun. There you go. So, variegated, but leggy? No. Not quite. This is the natural habit of this Echeveria. Hang on, I just had a look at this one here. I thought, did you get frostbitten? No, it did not. So, that one is Ionium. It's all leggy. This one is also Ionium. It's, I think, Bal Simiflora or something like that. I forgot now, but it's more on a shorter side, like sort of not as tall. And that one at the back, I don't know if you can see that, that's a PVN, variegated, supposedly. But anyway, that also has some, sort of have a little bit of neck. When someone says succulent, most people have this idea that succulents are supposed to grow like this, rosette, close to the ground. Even though it needs cleaning up, it doesn't matter if you clean it up or if I clean it up. You're not cleaning it, I am. If I clean this up, that would still be close to the ground. Even this one. This is an Echeveria Shakino. Are you Shakino? Shak to the heart. Yeah, but <laughs> let's not do Bon Jovi. Anyway, this one also, oh, sorry, you've got some dirt on your face. A big disgrace. Hang on. I just need to get a tweezer. Remove that carefully. There you go. Look at your beautiful, chubby, fat, and short with dirty leaves. You can see the stem in the bottom there. That's sort of leggy, but that's not leggy. That's just the normal growth of plant. As you can see, there's two plants here. So this one, I forgot, I think, fly to the sky. Are you fly to the sky? I lost your label. No, it's not. It's prism. Oh my goodness. Not pre-sun. Like jail. Prism. Like light. The prism of your life. Never mind. Now this one is, hang on, I can't move it the other way. You can see that's nice, fat, chubby. Also sort of uh, close to the ground, but not as close as some, but close enough. We're talking about leggy succulents or specifically Echeveria. These are mostly Echeveria in here. I'm trying to see if there's any other uh, genus or cultivar. No, there's mostly Echeveria and then this one, look how leggy this is. So that is long, stemmy, leggy. Look how long that is. It's like going to the sky. But that is the natural growing habit of this plant. So it just says J.A. Jocelyn Ainsworth crested. It was crested. So there's a crested part there that's now dead, died. <laughs> but the other ones grew long stem. So I still don't know the identity of this Echeveria, but it is an Echeveria. Now at the back there, that is Sedum clavatum. Sedum clavatum tends to be shrubby, sort of leggy in the sense so they have legs and even that one there hang on that one is are, are you heart's delight yes it is so that one you can see that heart's delight is 
or leggy. Now, you might say that it's all because it's sort of grown inside. No, it's not. They're all grown out in the open. So naturally, well, they're not supposed to go leggy or elongate, trying to reach for the sun. Because even this one, see, look, how... How much more sun friendly can you get that is exposed to the sun and yet it's still long stem? So there's a similar plant to this one, which is also an Echevria. Hello, Croatia. Look at Miss Croatia here. So oh, that beautiful. So this is also another leggy succulent. And there's a similar plant called, I think, similar to Suyon. Suyon. I haven't got any Suyon because Suyon is not frost hardy. And I had a couple of attempts to grow Suyon in my area, but it died. Now, this one is, I think, a good version of Suyon. And you can see the roots growing out there. That's screaming, please, please, please chop me off or remove me. And and plant me up so I can grow more long leggy Croatians like this. So that's Starbucks, which is not leggy, that's close to the ground. Another beautiful purpley top. What's your name? I forgot your name, can't remember. Oh, Porposorum hybrid or something. But anyway, oh, pomegranate, purple pomegranate that is. And look, it's also sort of a little bit shrubby, not a loner like the Starbucks and also this dancing bird here there's a dancing I'm gonna sing dancing okay but it's not this is a dancing bird you can see that that is also close to the ground or I, I'd like to say pug face <laughs> but anyway it's sort of close flat face I should probably say flat face growth habit so that is the nature of the plant so some of them likes to be solitary and others, of course, like the shrubby, long-leggy Croatia here, likes to be nice and tall. And other succulents, not a chivria, but this Mendoza is not doing its best right now because they show their best look when it's not too cold. When it's hot, they go to sleep. When it's cold, they stop growing. So autumn and spring is the best time to grow these variegated Mendoza. Oh, Luella, where have you gone? You're so beautiful. Look at you. This one as well is sort of hangs down when it grows. This is a variegated Luella that also I would say medium leggy plant, not leggy. Okay, so we, I, I should probably put it in the category of short, medium and tall. So this is sort of a medium because it's sort of stretched out like this one here, which is, I don't know your name, Radburiana, I think. Yeah, it is variegated Radburiana. So they have this similar growth habit. And oh, look how beautiful that is supposed to be. Uh, are you a variegated? No, blood. Um, lovely rose. What with a bloody, lovely rose. <laughs> like the bloody Grapteveria by Nessie Ida. So beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. Now, these ones here are all, should I say, small <laughs> or flat face. You can't say small because this is quite a big plant, but they grow close to the ground. They're not medium or tall, basically. So these ones are the same. But obviously that one, that's a Jinmi Tenyo. They tend to grow long and tall, uh, more like a shrubby type of plant and also not as frost hardy as the other Echeveria that are in here. Succulents of the same genus can have different degree of hardiness. Just because one Echeveria or Echeveria is frost hardy doesn't mean the others will or also be frost hardy. It's the same as some people prefer to live in the tropics and others can survive Antarctica much better. So there's quite a few in here, so I don't know. This one didn't have any name, but this one I believe would probably be a Polydonis hybrid, and also that one would probably be a Graptoveria or could be an Echevria. But anyway, this one is definitely an Echevria. See how this one grows, sort of flat and look at that, close to the soil. So others want to reach for the sky, and the other ones want to stay in grounded basically now this is also uh, that's a band bodies by the way i forgot to mention and also this one is also band bodies now this one tends to say small but you can say shrubby they're not they're just growing a lot of babies close to the earth all these plants that i have here are all exposed to the sun so you get leggy ones like that bernalensi here this is my original bernalensi and of course that's the mummy and okay, my hand, mommy, small. 
babies, big, long, and sort of overhangs on the side now. They tend to lose their leaves. I mean, that one is sort of dying, but that's normal. I'll attend to that later on. And also, I see this one is close to the ground at the moment because that's just cuttings. So different succulents will grow differently, and this one as well. Uh, every time I look, oh my goodness, I get distracted. Oh, water. This is now my chihuahua yensis, which grow close to earth and or ground. Don't go to hell, okay? <laughs> you stay here with us in heaven. Or is this purgatory? Oh, that's actually a good analogy. Heaven, purgatory, <laughs> or hell. <laughs> so this one here, I think there's more fun in hell. <laughs> Now that one is a Madiba. Look how beautiful that is. And I kept forgetting, what is a leggy succulent? So leggy succulents are like, this is not a leggy. This is mule. These are all propagated. All came from the same leaves or same plant, but grown from leaves, all of them. So this ones here that you see are more exposed to the sun. And if I move my camera slowly to the back there, that's also a mule, and that's also a mule. Now that mule there has grown leggy, look at that. Might be bigger and taller. What's the date? Okay. Now that's over a year old. And those other ones are also mule, but they're still small. But that one there has grown leggy and it's trying to reach out into the open there because there's sun over there i want to go there that's what it's saying and this one's here i'm just saying i'm just gonna sit here because it's nice and warm with the sun especially on cold winter mornings and also i don't need to reach out for the sun i'll just have to stay here and stay humble close to earth i still don't want to say hell but anyway lovely rose leggy no that is the natural growing habit of got the very lovely rose and this one i need to remove now i'm going to show you okay uh hang on where, where can i throw this there you go out of the way now you can see that's all long and stemmy these are all babies they're all propagated from leaves and babies basically now would you like to see the mummy this is the mummy if you've been watching my videos for a while you would have uh identify this rose here that I stuck in here. One of my viewers actually asked me, what is that succulent? It's a porcelain <laughs> rose. Anyway, this is my original mummy lovely rose. And I'm only showing a little bit of it because this thing has grown, look at that. Da -da 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 Play one of those elevator songs anyway. So the tip of it is here. So this mummy here, did it grow leggy because it needed the sun? No, it did not. Hang on, I'll just move this. Where can you go? I'll put you here for now. Don't forget. Okay, hang on. I'll just put this away. Secure this. There you go. Now we can see it better. Ah, oh, look how long that is. That would be probably about 12. If I stretch that out, that is 14 inches long. So don't make me get a tape measure and say that, oh, how did she figure that out? Anyway, so it's about six inches, six, 12 minimum, 14, maybe uh, 21 inches long. Oh, poor thing, look at you. I need to chop you off, but I thought I'll just save this so I can do this video and show you how leggy a plant can get without being affected by not exposing it to the sun. So another plant that I want to show you, or should I say Echeveria, that, so this is another Starbucks Echeveria, Echeveria, they grow close to the ground as well. And of course, Romeo grow close to the ground. The only time that will grow leggy is if it's grown indoors. If grown outdoors, they will maintain their size or their height. Also that amestro. So if you put this amestro under somewhere where they have to reach out for the sun, they will become leggy like this. Ta-da! This bluebird and that bluebird. Okay, hang on. This bluebird is, I've got a shelf here. And even though you say that's all good because it's still out in the open, it's because behind there I've got shrubbery or other plants. I think that's a jonquil. Oh, it's flowering. Oops, come here, jonquil. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, see? <laughs> 
Some people like the smell of jonquil, like I do. Others are repulsed by it. But anyway, you go there. Now, this bluebird, I'll take you out. Hang on. But I'll take the other one out first before I do that so I don't do any damage. Anyway. Oopsie. Oh, look. See? Look how messy that is. Okay. Now, this bluebird here has been growing in there for a good three years. And this is now what a leggy succulent look like because under normal circumstance i'll just take this see how leggy that is look how long the neck i'm sorry bluebird i have to do that intentionally and neglect you because i need to do this video <laughs> now if this is grown out in the open this is what it looks like this is a beautiful almost variegating look of Echeveria bluebird. So there's a few of them in there. Some hasn't been growing very well. They're all the same age when I planted them and I think there's a couple that died as well. So anyway this bluebird look how beautiful that is and this actually prompted me now to try and grow some more bluebird. Look at that see. Uh, this one has just uh, shown some legginess like you see the back of it is because it hasn't grown as big as this one so this is the biggest of the lot here but they grow much bigger than this of course but to make it look beautiful like this i have to stop fertilizing it and give it the full royal treatment as in torture it in the sense that I haven't fertilized it, I haven't watered it, I've neglected it, and it's basically dependent on Mother Nature to look after its loving hands. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. Also, this one is, what's your name? Vanilla Bees. That is not a leggy plant. This is also a plant or a cultivar that grows, that tends to grow long. Echeveria prolifica, also shrubby and stemmy but not a leggy plant this one is red velvet and you can see that they grow close to the ground and not leggy at all the only way this is going to grow leggy is if it's grown indoors and not exposed to a lot of light or sunlight more leggy plants but that's just the nature of the plant or should i say succulent and this claret all grown out in the open, but look how it overhangs all the way down, saying hello to that cactus. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next video. Lola, definitely not leggy and also variegating. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Please continue to variegate. I think this has gone monstrous and also hopefully variegates. Another very leggy Echeveria. This is Tango. I've got a Tango. Variegated Tango. Leggy, not just shrubby. Vera, oh Vera, are you leggy? No. Just shrubby. Just about to have lunch and I forgot to close Pedro's room. <laughs> now he's attacked my salad. Oh my goodness, Pedro. Hey. Do you want your own salad? If I give you your own salad, you don't want it as well, eh? You just like eating mommy's um, food. Okay, I'm gonna eat now, baby pee. Mm. Go, grab that one. A bad draw. Okay, that's enough. I'll give you your own plate, okay? Hey, there's your plate. There you go. Have that one. There. 
<laughs> Oi! <laughs> it's the same! What's wrong with you, baby P? Come on. Come on. I have to eat. Okay, I'm gonna put you in the cage now, okay? Sorry, baby bird. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>